boxing champ Gervonta Tank Davis is sent to jail less than a month after he was ordered to serve three months of home detention. Celebrity boxer Gervonta Davis has found himself in a ring of trouble, and once again, it's with the authorities. While some may know him for boxing in the ring, others know Gervonta for throwing punches outside the ring. Well, it doesn't matter how you know this professional boxer. You should know that he's been recently locked up, and you wouldn't believe what really happened to him in prison. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to Gervonta Davis in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Gervonta Davis in prison I bet you're wondering how the famous Gervonta Davis found himself in this twisted situation. Well, we're going to have to throw this back a little bit to November 2020 after the boxer got involved in a pretty messed up hit and run accident. The incident took place shortly after Davis's knockout victory over Leo Santa Cruz. He was driving in a fancy Lamborghini SUV late at night when he ran a red light and crashed into another car, causing injuries to four people. A video of the crash involving Gervonta Davis's Lamborghini and a fence was shared online. Although he left the crash site before the authorities arrived, there was no way Davis was going to escape. I mean, not with the video evidence that had already gone viral on social media. He was arraigned before a court for the incident. He pleaded guilty to four traffic offenses and was sentenced to home arrest of 90 days, three years of probation, and 200 hours of community service. All of these seemed like a pretty decent sentence, especially since Gervonta Davis refused to apologize to the victims of his reckless accident. During his hearing, Baltimore Circuit Judge Althea M. Handy expressed her dissatisfaction with Davis's refusal to apologize to one of the victims. Judge Handy said, Three words, I am sorry, and he was not brave enough to do that. He's shown absolutely no remorse. Despite all of that, Gervonta managed to get off easy until he messed it up and found himself in prison this time around. He was sentenced to two months in prison after the authorities discovered that he hadn't been serving his house arrest at his trainer's house, where the court ordered him to be at. According to reports, Gervonta Davis changed the home on two separate occasions. The first time he changed the home of his house arrest, he did it on the grounds that the initial home was too small and he just couldn't stay in it. He changed homes without permission from the judge or the authorities. The boxer proceeded to change addresses again, and this time around, he moved himself to a luxurious hotel to spend the remainder of his house arrest. Gervonta hoped to spend his house arrest at the Four Seasons Hotel and a $3.4 million penthouse. Well, his little luxury vacation was called short after an impromptu court hearing placed him behind bars. Gervonta Davis, Life in Prison Since getting locked up after his impromptu court hearing, Gervonta hasn't been having a really good time behind bars, and he has made sure to let his fans know about it. While on a phone call with a friend, Gervonta instructed him to go live from his Instagram account so he could share his experience from prison with his fans. He was heard saying via the Instagram Live, Man, I just want to say to let the people know that this judge is crazy, bro. She locked me up because basically I bought a property. I did everything in my power to listen to my lawyers. Gervonta continued as he proceeded to talk about why he couldn't stay at his trainer's house where the judge ordered him to spend the 90 days. He said, she wanted me to stay in a one-bedroom apartment, couldn't even have my kids or nothing come visit me and things like that. I just want to spread light on this situation because she's taking advantage of me. He concluded, she's doing stuff that's not right to me. I don't know if she's a bad judge or not, but the things that she's doing right now is not right. Gervonta hasn't been heard from since the last phone call. It's unclear whether the boxer might get an early release, but for now, he'll be behind bars for the rest of his sentence. Gervonta Davis arrested for domestic violence Believe it or not, this isn't Gervonta Davis's first time being involved in an altercation where he has hit people. In fact, he has been put in jail for a similar incident that happened just a couple of months ago. In a separate incident on December 27, 2022, Davis was arrested for battery causing bodily harm after allegedly hitting the mother of his child on the right side of her head. I'm not sure if he thought he was in a boxing ring, but he surely didn't think he was going to land in jail for the offense. The incident was reported through a 911 call, where the woman expressed fear for her safety, stating that Davis had attacked her and that she needed help. The call was briefly disconnected, but reconnected later. According to reports, since the distress call was disconnected, the authorities had to show up to make sure the woman was safe. Davis tried to deny the allegations after he made headlines. He claimed that he never hit the mother of his child. I never put my hands on my child mother, nor my daughter, are you 
fucking crazy, a part of Davis's post said before it was deleted. I'm not a monster, I've been quiet for too long. That's the only reason I'm doing this now, just to clear my name. The mother of his child also tried to clarify the incident, as she also claimed that Gervonta Davis did not hit her or her child. She said via Instagram, made an unnecessary call to law enforcement in an intense moment while I was frantic. Gervonta did not harm me or our daughter. She further claimed that she and Gervonta were both at fault for the incident. I pride myself on being extremely private. This situation was the last thing I wanted to be made public. The state of our relationship has been in a fragile space and Gervonta and I were both at fault for the argument. It took Davis by shock after he was arrested and held in jail on the charge of battery causing bodily harm. Luckily for him, he was released on bail and his bond was set at $1,000. Of course, a $1,000 bill wasn't going to keep him locked up. He got freed the following day. Gervonta Davis Legal Troubles Gervonta Davis, the talented boxer, has had some run-ins with the law outside of the boxing ring, and from the looks of it, this might not even be the last time he'll get caught up with law enforcement. Back in 2017, an arrest warrant was issued for Gervonta Davis on a charge of first-degree aggravated assault. The alleged incident occurred on August 1, 2017, according to Maryland court records, and it involved Davis's childhood friend Anthony Wheeler, who he punched in the head. Wheeler landed in the hospital with a concussion. He pressed charges, and Davis was arrested. However, after paying $100,000 and waiting to begin the trial, Anthony Wheeler decided to drop the charges against Gervonta. In fact, they both embraced each other and left the courtroom side by side. On September 14, 2018, Gervonta Davis found himself in trouble once again when he was arrested after an altercation in Washington, D.C. The incident allegedly stemmed from a dispute over a $10,000 bar tab. Davis, accompanied by Ricardo Rodriguez, faced charges of misdemeanor after Davis and Rodriguez got into a physical altercation. An officer who witnessed the whole incident described it saying, Both subjects began fighting mutually by punching each other with a closed fist about the upper body. According to TMZ, the dispute occurred at Rose Bar Lounge, where Davis had been on a spending spree. Despite several attempts trying to separate them, Gervonta chased Ricardo when he was being dragged away from the scene. In response to the incident, Davis took to Twitter, asking his fans not to judge him solely based on media reports and stating, they're gonna paint me a bad picture every time. Later, he tweeted, expressing that if he had been involved in a fight, the consequences could have been much more severe. If I was fighting, I would have got locked up for manslaughter, not disorderly affray. Do you believe Davis's actions deserve his current sentence? And will he stop getting involved in fights outside the ring? Join the conversation and let us know down below.